everyone, welcome to Get Active with Milo. I'm Dawn here and I'll be leading you through an 8 minute workout. All you're going to need is your mat, a yoga mat, an exercise mat, a Pilates mat, as long as it's something that's going to cushion your feet, your knees, that's good enough. All right, so have a bottle of water handy. We're going to work on your legs for today. It's going to focus on your legs, but we're going to start off with some sun salutations to warm you up. Most of the movements that we're doing today are very yoga based. All right, so um, you may have tried these uh, similar movements in another discipline, but I will be um, using a yogic breathing um, in some of the movements that we're doing here. Right? So listen to how um, I'm going to guide you through the, bre the breath work as well. Let's come towards the front of your mat. We're going to have your feet come together with your big toes touching. As you inhale through the nose, it is a more relaxed way all right, uh, of our breath work here. As you exhale, I need you to try to imagine you trying to fog up a mirror, but your mouth is closed. That's going to help us to be able to work on our inner core, our deep underlying core muscles, including your diaphragm, your pelvic floor, your transversus abs, your intercostals, and many more. Right? So don't just be working on the superficial muscles. I need the muscles inside the trunk to be working hard as well. Let's start off with the hands resting by the sides of your thighs. Relax your shoulders. We'll let breath guide movement. So we move at the speed of our breath. That requires a lot of control, very little momentum. As you inhale, reach both arms up. And as you exhale, forward fold. If you have to, bend your knees. It's okay, right? Now step your right leg back as you inhale. Step your left leg back, palms down. As you exhale, come into a high plank, a high push-up. Lower your knees, lean forwards, chest chin follows. Now press forwards and up into a cobra or a higher cobra. Tuck your toes and come into downward facing. Look forwards, we're going to step your right foot in between your hands. Guide it if you need to. Left leg follows, forward fold. Inhale, coming up all the way with a baby back bend. Return the hands to the front of the chest. Relax your shoulders to reset. Inhale, arms reach up once again. Exhale, folding forward, stretch the back of your legs, length of your spine. Now, step your right leg back, inhale. Step your left leg back, exhale. Come into that high plank position once again. Lower your knees, lean forwards. Now, keep your elbows close to your ribs as you lower down. Press forwards and up to a cobra or a high cobra. Tuck your toes and come into downward facing dog once again. As you inhale, step your right leg forwards, sink your hips. Left leg follows, coming to forward fold. Bend your knees again if you need to. Inhale, coming up all the way, stretching the front side of the body. Return the hands back, relax your shoulders. We go again. So let's just do two more rounds of this. Exhale to warm up the major muscles and your joints in your body. Right leg back, sink your hips. Left leg follows, high push up. Lower your knees, lean forwards, chest chin. Notice the speed at which we move from one point to the next. It is never too fast, right? Open across the chest, tuck your toes, and then come into downward facing. Let's go again. Right leg forwards, left leg follows. Forward fold. Inhale. Coming up all the way, hands return. Let's do this one last time here. Inhale. Forward fold. Right leg back, sink the hips. This warms up the hip joints as well. Left leg follows, high push up. Lower your knees, lean forwards, chest chin. Now stretch across the front side of the body. Exhale, downward facing. Right leg forwards, take a step in. Left foot follows, forward fold. Inhale, coming up all the way. Now take your hands towards the front at shoulder height. We're gonna keep the big toes touching, feet on together. Squeeze your knees towards the midline and let's take a seat back in chair. So it's like you're playing a piano, right? Your bum goes back and down. You don't jut your knees forwards, okay? So I want more weight on the heels at this point to set the hips towards the back. What we're gonna do here is now work on the front of the thighs. So we're gonna transfer weight towards the toes, lift your heels and exhale. Press your heels down. You may start to shiver in the legs and that's okay. Let's do this again a few more times. Inhale to lift heels and exhale to press them down. Do it again. Inhale, lift, and exhale, press. That's three. Inhale, lift, and exhale, press. And that's four. Let's just do this one more time. On your own, I'd like you to do that 10 to 15 times. Once you are done, come back up to a stand. Shake your legs out. So you should have felt the front of your thighs, your quadriceps working pretty hard there, right? Make sure that you are also squeezing your knees in towards the midline. 
Next movement, we're going into your high lunge. So step your left leg back and your right leg forwards. Now we are going to be working on the hip, the thighs on that front leg. All right. So I need you to imagine you're wearing a metal corset or a metal weight training belt. All right. Have your front toes just kind of spread open, knee over the ankle. Shuffle the back foot further behind if you need to. So stay on tiptoe. Your arms are extended up here. Keep your knee over the ankle for that front leg and energize that back leg here. As you exhale, lean forwards. Hold it out there. Then we're going to stay here for five breaths, but on your own, I'd like you to try to hold it for eight to ten breaths. As you inhale, draw the breath to around the ribs, the belly region. As you exhale, remember that breath that I talked about, trying to fog up a mirror, but your mouth is closed. Hang out here, two more breaths. And you're going to start to feel the thighs on that, le on that right leg. Whichever leg is in front, you're going to feel it there. All right, close closer to the outside of the thigh. Hand on the hip, come back up and let's switch legs. Left foot steps forwards, right leg step back. And it may not feel the same on both sides. Stay on tiptoe for that back leg, arms extending up. Keep your arms next to your ears and as you lean forwards, keep your spine straight. Keep your arms next to your ears. If you have to make it easier for yourself, you come up a little bit higher. But if you can, hover your chest close to your thigh. Knee over ankle, toes spread open. Try to avoid curling your toes. Let's hang out here for two more breaths, all right? One more breath. And very slowly, hands on the hips, we step forward. So those are two more stationary kind of movements. I'm going to make this a little bit more dynamic now. So we're going to come into a single leg um, extension, standing, but I'm also going to have you work on balancing. All right, so as you inhale, your left leg comes up, you point your toes, you raise the leg up as high as you can. On the exhale, lower your hands, lower your foot, toe lightly touches the ground. And two, you should feel the front of your thighs and exhale, lower down. Standing leg works on different muscles. And three, and exhale and four and exhale one more time and five and lower it down let's do the same thing on the other side inhale you can always work on lowering the arms down as well if it feels better for your shoulders i just kind of like to lift my arms up and keep it there because it reminds me to breathe more deeply to the bigger lung lobes around the ribs twice more one more time and stop. We're gonna lower down onto the hands, step back into your three-legged dog. Now from here, we're gonna feel more of a stretch. It's not so much work, but it's more stretch to the back of your thighs, back of your lower legs. Your feet come together. Right leg stays, left leg goes up. I did not tilt my hips. I'm gonna just get my left leg to go up as high as I can, but I'm gonna plant the heel down on that standing leg. Now the focus is not the floating leg, it is actually the standing leg. So as you plant your heel down, your toes point forwards, you're going to feel that stretch along the back of your leg. Hold it here for about 8 to 10 breaths. Before you change, left foot comes down, right leg goes up. Try to point your toes towards the ground on that floating leg as well. So if your knee needs to bend, allow it to happen. I'm pressing strongly into my finger pads as well, not just the wrists. Push more weight into the hands to help you transfer more weight to your legs. The more weight you can transfer to your leg behind, the better the stretch on the back of your legs. 8 to 10 breaths as well. Lower down the feet, lower down your knees, and then come up to a rest. You'll feel the blood just flow down from your upper extremities. It is very anti-aging, gotta do it often. So there's your 8 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon.